online? Here's a look at what some of those former web celebs are up to now. Leave Britney alone. Britney Spears' comeback at the 2007 Video Music Awards went down in history for all the wrong reasons. Her seemingly lifeless, mimed performance was torn to shreds by both music journalists and industry moguls alike. Britney was reportedly disappointed and embarrassed by the show, but it didn't stop the haters from mocking her. This all became too much for vlogger and aspiring actor Chris Crocker, who posted a tearful video vehemently defending the pop icon. <laughs> Leave her alone! The video was viewed 43 million times before Crocker left YouTube and catapulted the 19-year-old to fame, leading to appearances on talk shows and music videos, all the while he was himself ribbed for being gender fluid. But Crocker capitalized on his infamy by trying to launch a career as an adult film actor, a move he came to regret as his Hollywood hopes evaporated. He later told Out Magazine, "...career opportunities for me have been very slim to none." He still promotes music and merchandise through Instagram and recently returned to public interest by revisiting the video on its 10th anniversary and revealing the harrowing story of why he was so impacted by the attacks on his idol. Chocolate Rain If streaming had been taken into account by the Recording Industry Association of America in 2007, like it is today, Tay Zonday would have gone multi-platinum with his annoyingly catchy original song, Chocolate Rain. Zonday's deep, rich voice and somewhat bizarre mannerisms made this video a hit on YouTube, though it actually took a little while for it to take off. As he later explained, it didn't instantly go viral. About three months after it was uploaded, someone posted it on the front page of Dig.com, which is kind of what Reddit was back then. And then someone saw it on Dig and posted it on 4chan. After that, it started to go viral and became a national news story. The video was everywhere for a while and spawned some pretty hilarious parodies. Zonde went on to make numerous cameo appearances in film and TV and also took part in a memorable commercial for Dr. Pepper, performing a new track named Cherry Chocolate Rain. While he later admitted that his business savvy wasn't as strong as it should have been at the time, his dulcet tones have allowed him to find work in other areas of entertainment, including a voice role in the animated miniseries Transformers Titans Return. Miss Teen South Carolina 2007 in 2006, a girl named Caitlin Upton was crowned Miss Teen South Carolina. The following year, she appeared at the Miss Teen USA pageant representing her state. With millions watching across the country, Upton was asked about why a fifth of Americans couldn't locate the United States on a world map. Her answer was not great. And uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq. Soon after, she had a chance to redeem herself on talk show appearances. Um, I was overwhelmed and I made a mistake. Everybody makes a mistake, I'm human. But her cringeworthy stage flub didn't stop her from going on to do big things. Weeks after the pageant, Upton was signed by Donald Trump's agency on a $25,000 a day contract. Even so, no amount of money could erase the damage done by that YouTube video, and Upton admitted in 2015, I had some very dark moments where I thought about committing suicide. She now works in real estate in addition to the entertainment business, which means she probably knows a lot more about maps now. The New Canon Rock In 2006, 17-year-old Paris, France native Matt Rock blew YouTube away with a face-melting guitar cover of a well-known classical piece known as Paco Bell's Canon. The video became a sensation and spawned many imitators. He later told Slash Media, I took this piece that I did not particularly like because the few subscribers I had at the time insisted that I do it. I posted a first version identical to the original and it brought a wave of haters that thought I was pretending to play. So I made my own version. I did not expect that success. The talented Frenchman has continued to share music via his channel in the years since and has released several cover albums. He revisited Canon for his 2016 album Classic with a brand new take on it and released another album in 2017. He does compose his own music, too, with a band called The Atmospheres. Zombie Kid Likes Turtles YouTube has always loved a good news report gone wrong, from the infamous falling grape lady to the guy who looked up and got a mouthful of bird poop. Some of the biggest jokes in YouTube history have been at the expense of reporters. In 2007, this brief interview with Jonathan Ware from Portland, Oregon went viral after he answered a question about his zombie face paint with a blunt and hilariously bizarre statement. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right, you're great zombie. The video was watched over 50 million times and made an overnight celeb of the unmasked youngster who later admitted, I was nervous. <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't even know what to say. He's since enrolled in college. No word yet on whether he's studying marine biology. Thanks for